Oh. All right, you lot, so what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, today I need to build up a new quad. This frame was sent to me by Luma Quad. They're based in Australia. And personally, I think this looks pretty sick. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be testing out another quad as well. This is Frame X that David gave to me, which is pretty sick. This is proper solid. It is a little bit more heavier than the Luma Quad frame. Obviously, the main benefits with this is it is a true X you get the same distance from all four arms pretty much basically going to be testing both of these quads out and we're going to see what one is stronger now both of these quads are going to be set up the exact same apart from the luma quad that i'm going to put some different motors on just because i need to get some more motors from t motor these are the f60 pro motors and they are pretty good and they're really strong so we've got a speedy b flight controller and esc here this is a 55 amp stack and we've also got the walks now hd kit v2 now if you want to get either of these products i will leave a link down below in the description so in the speedy b box we've got the flight controller here the esc here and then underneath that we've got all the accessories so for examples we've got the cables here we've got the xt60 cable here and then a few bolts some gummies and a capacitor now the reason i would recommend this flight controller for this setup is because this particular avatar hd kit does need to be wired up to a nine volt and there is a nine volt right on the flight controller which is pretty perfect now just for a little bit of an example for the way i build my quads is i actually run the esc and the flight controller facing the opposite direction as to what it should be you have to change the settings in beta flight but it's not too bad the reason i do that is just so everything is sort of tucked up here in the front like the capacitor and things like that and it leaves a bit more room at the back for the vtx and the crossfire or anything else you're going to put in the back if i can i might try and tuck the crossfire up here in the front let's crack on and let's get building this quad <laughs> There we go, we've got the ESC, we've got the XT60. All we need to do now is get the Walksnail VTX in, put the camera at the front and put some motors on so it shouldn't take too long. Here is the VTX I am really, really enjoying. Just for a little bit of an example, this is what it looks like. Alright, so the quad's looking pretty good. I've taped all the wires up that go from the motor to the ESC. We're gonna give it a little plug in. If you've got a smoke stopper, I would suggest using a smoke stopper, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I've wired everything up correctly. So I have done this quite a few times now just to mention, but let's go for it. There we go. Bosh. Should be all right. Nothing's blown up yet, which is a good sign. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it up, put this all together, because it's basically done now. But basically the plan is later today, we're gonna be testing both of these quads kind of putting them up with each other see what one flies better and obviously in the long run see what one is stronger we might even break one of these tomorrow but we don't know yet so let me finish this up and we're going to head to a bando and send some packs of this and the frame x all right so i've got two brand new drones built up right here we've got the luma quad here and we've got the frame x that david has made i will leave a link to both of these frames in the description down below but we're going to test both of these frames out basically see what one i prefer obviously i can't give you a final answer today because i need to test these for the next six months basically and see what one is going to last longer i have flown both of these frames and i can say they both fly really really nice they're both set up on the exact same setup so we've got the same flight controller esc uh, they do have different props on but i probably will switch that around later once these ones break also i haven't actually mentioned where we are so we're here at gridworks which is a cool little bando in the uk and let's just send one of these quads up in the air i want to go for the frame x first oh you're not welcome to jack's <laughs> <laughs> so the first video we've starred in together we got 30 something million views on youtube yeah that's a good one still the second one got almost 30 million so you gotta, you gotta get 40 million on this one mate i am back let's go frames this the frame x yeah oh, let's get on Certainly sounds better. Oh, oh, he's doing it. Oh, yes, mate. Keep 
it locked, keep it locked, keep it locked. Come on. Right, that's, that's perfect. Holy. <laughs> Shit, mate. Well, it's flying good. Yeah. Yeah. Still got an ND filter? I still have an ND filter. Yeah, get it, mate. Oh, I didn't get the roof dive. Oh! Oh, you're deep in the puddle, mate. Okay, so that was my first proper freestyle pack with the Frame X. I do like it. There are puddles that I was mentioning earlier to nil, and I have slightly crashed into one of them. This drone should be fine. I just need to let it dry out, which probably won't dry out today, but it's flying good. So now that my other drone is uh, currently out of action because it's soaking wet, we're going to send a few packs with the LumaCord, which might get wet. <laughs> Fingers crossed not, obviously. Get it. Do a trippy spin with this pod. There it is. Come on, hit it. Throttle, 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 mate. Let's go. Yes. Nice exit. Yeah, well, good dad. Just wanted a few <laughs> things floating up in the air. Mate, your uh, your motors fell off. <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't put enough motor bolts in it. Oh shh. So the quad's not actually broken. I've just probably forgotten to put enough motor bolts. I was in about motor. to say you got an arm hanging off from it, and then I noticed it was just a motor. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little bit of a floppy motor. I'm gonna fix that, and then we've got some tape. Back. We can tape it back on. Yeah, yeah, I think we have yeah, duct sweet, tape and sweet. super glue. We'll fix that. <laughs> have you got any bolts? Because I haven't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take one off your wet quad, mate. What are you doing, mate? Uh, putting bolts in my motors, like I probably should have done when I built the quad. Quickly screwed my motor back on, so let's just finish off this pack and then we'll go from there. I don't think these motors have much longer life left in them, so I do need to take it a little bit easy, but we'll see. Wonder how many motors have fell off this time. Absolutely none. Cool. But I did lose part of a prop. So I'm gonna change the prop on this Luma Quad and then I'm gonna send a few packs and just see what happens. Probably gonna break a few things, hopefully not the frame, but I reckon we're gonna break some motors. Might just send a few things and see what happens. So one thing I'm gonna mention now is ignore the noises coming from this quad. It is the motor at the back is dented and I don't have a spare one. So we're just flying it how it is. So it is safe to say, let me unplug this while we're here. It's still arms, we're all good. My problem is, is my building skills. <laughs> nah, these are, these are just some old motors, Honestly, obviously. Right. I mean, soon I'm yeah, gonna put you... some T motors on this. I mean, that just got, I'll watch that line of sight and it got rammed off. And look at the carbon. It doesn't use any um, It hasn't arm split guards. really, has it? No. Really? The reason I'm not using any arm guards is to see how quick yeah. they're gonna start splitting, like the well, apex mate, split quite quick. I'll just watch that happen and I was like, that's impressive, mate. That is impressive. We have no motors left. That one doesn't even spin. 
The plan is to switch these motors over to the T-Motors F60s, which are much stronger. These are just the spare motors that I had that I thought I'd chuck on. So, unfortunately, I'm going home today. Well, this quad technically still works because it's just wet and I need to wait for it to dry. Once it's dry, it should be all right. And this quad's got a floppy motor on it. First of all, shout out to all the companies that send me parts of this. BDB for sending me the flight controller, Cadex for sending me the walk snail system, and T-Motor for sending me the motors, and obviously, HQ prop zone for the props. The second thing I can say is both of these quads fly really well. Personally, for me, this one is a little bit heavy, but it is a good frame and it does fly nice and it is true X, so it is quite snappy. I think because I've flown the Apex for so long, which is a squished X, this one I do prefer. David did a really good job of building this one. I am going to keep flying this and I might just send this one and just see what happens, see if we can actually break it. I did put Lumacord through its test today and I can say that it is a really strong frame. None of the ends of the arms have started splitting or anything like that, which generally tends to happen. Obviously, if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe because I will be using this in videos. I'm also going to be using the frame X, so don't worry about that. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment down below and make sure to subscribe. Also, turn the bell notification on if you want to see the next video. I've got some cool videos coming up. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Just before we go, Jack, you've just reached over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, Boss, mate. Thank you need you guys another so medal, much mate. 200K. Yes, brother. Um, Let's go. I don't know what we're doing for it, nothing really, but. Come to the bando to fly quads. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> when we get 300K, I'll do a giveaway or something. <laughs> yes, mate. Let's go. Well done, mate. <laughs>